Now to the so heartbreaking, a woman is in critical condition tonight. This is after police say her ex-husband, whom she had a restraining order against, stabbed her multiple times. The suspect arrested hours later in eastern Oregon. Our Jamie Seymour is going beyond the headlines as local advocates work to protect survivors of domestic violence in really heartbreaking cases like this one. Jamie? Yeah. Adv Liz, advocates tell us situations like what happened in Beaverton yesterday are becoming all too common and more needs to be done to hold domestic violence offenders accountable. A Beaverton woman now in critical condition after police say her ex-husband stabbed her multiple times. Zach Yoshida Costello was returning from walking his dog when he saw everything unfold and quickly jumped into action. The woman was screaming for help kept repeatedly screaming for help, and at that point, I decided to call the cops. Police say another neighbor armed with a handgun confronted the suspect who then took off, arrested hours later at a rest area in eastern Oregon. Officers say the victim ID'd her attacker as her ex-husband, Alfonso Merritt, who she had a restraining order against. The reality is a restraining order is just a piece of paper. So much of safety is put onto the responsibility of the victim, and it should not be. That's the thing that we have to change. Rachel Schutz is the executive director of the Family Justice Center of Washington County and says as cases like this one continue to happen across the state, survivors should work with trained advocates on a safety plan that works best for them and officials should work on taking these cases seriously. We have to hold offenders accountable. We have to because they are so dangerous and we have seen that over and over and over. As for today, Yoshida Costello says he's thinking of that woman and hopes she pulls through. Honestly, I just hope that she recovers. If you or someone you know is a survivor of domestic violence and you need help, we have a full list of resources on our website, coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin6 News.